yesterday around the world, the church celebrated World Mission Sunday. Cari fratelli e sorelle, voi avrete... In a video message, the Holy Father said World Mission Sunday is part of our calling as Christians to go to the peripheries of the globe and act as agents of compassion. The initiative began in the late 1920s. The Vatican called for a collection on the second to last Sunday of October at churches around the world. Joining us from Rome is Father Tadeusz Jan Novak, Secretary General of the Pontifical Society for the Propagation of Faith. Father, thank you so much for your time today and joining us. We appreciate it. Um, can you tell us why the Vatican began the World Mission Sunday nearly 100 years ago? Well, in fact, it's tied in with, uh, with the society, the mission society that I'm Secretary General of, because in uh, 1922, Pope Pius XI uh, made uh, the Pontifical Mission Society for the Propagation of the Faith and also the Pontifical Society or the, the Mission Society of the Holy Childhood and the Mission Society for St. Peter the Apostle for seminarians uh, in uh, mission countries. He made them all pontifical, and at that point, he also uh, designated the penultimate Sunday of October as Mission Sunday, so as to have one day, one Sunday of the year, uh, to celebrate the importance of uh, the proclamation of the gospel throughout the world, especially in distant lands, and to sensitize Christians in uh, traditionally uh, Christian and Catholic countries uh, to pray especially for uh, missionaries and for young churches and mission lands, and to share of, of, uh, of their goods, uh, finances, so that uh, young churches can grow and, and so that the gospel could be uh, proclaimed uh, throughout the world to the ends of the earth as Jesus wanted after the resurrection. Yeah, and I know uh, the theme this year, or, or the theme was, uh, we cannot but speak about we, what we have seen and heard. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that, what it means, and why Pope Francis chose that? Yeah. Sure. Well, that's, that's from the fourth chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. And you remember that uh, Peter and John were walking uh, the temple, and there was a man that was lame from birth and uh, couldn't walk and asked for, for alms. And Peter said, uh, look at us. Uh, and uh, he said, uh, we have neither silver or gold, but we, what we do have we give to you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Stand up and walk. And he stood up and walked and caused a sensation among the people. And uh, they began to, at that point, announce uh, the, the, that Christ is risen. The one who was crucified uh, is now alive and, and uh, working miracles. And, of course, the authorities at the time weren't very pleased, so they locked them up in jail and they forbid them to speak. And uh, uh, they went to the tribunal and, and uh, they were ordered not to speak. And Peter said, look, uh, how can we not speak of the things that we have heard and we have seen? Um, is it better for us to obey you or to obey God? And uh, so the, the theme is really about um, uh, the mission begins with a personal experience of, of Christ risen and, and uh, um, life in the church. And also, um, I know a collection was taken up at Catholic churches around the world. Um, do you know what that money will go towards and how much money um, they're anticipating the collection would be? Just a ve very good question. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly where the money is going to be because it's my job to make sure that it's distributed equally and fairly amongst churches and mission lands. So uh, w the collection is to be taken up in every uh, uh, Christian community, every Catholic community, parish, diocese, and mission stations, uh, e even in, in mission countries, so that uh, everyone participates in uh, in sharing their goods for the growth of the of the faith, for the spread of the gospel, and for the spread of the church throughout the world. Um, how much is, is anyone's guess, really, because last year uh, the, the collection was down because of closures of churches because of COVID. Um, this year, more churches will be open, more people will be able to come and celebrate Mass on Sunday, that, as they did this past Sunday, which was Mission Sunday. So I'm hopeful that there will be uh, more funds. And, and the funds go, um, I can give you an example, over 900 dioceses uh, in mission countries, Africa, Asia, Oceania, receive an annual subsidy um, uh, for the, uh, uh, the work of the diocese, uh, for, for the bishop, for his expenses, uh, mission expenses. Um, also, um, um, monies are given for catechists, uh, poor uh, catechists who, who need the remuneration, but also uh, formation programs for them.
And then money is, 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 is provided uh, when the, our society participates in building projects <clears throat> like building of churches, basilicas, uh, chapels, even mission stations, uh, convents for sisters who work with the poor, um, and, uh, uh, and so on. Well, Father, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us about all of this. Uh, God bless you, and, and thank you for all of the work that you do. It's a great joy. Thank you very much. God bless you all.